All right, so in this video for the Legends Ultimate, I'm gonna show you guys how to get Open Jazz or Jazz Jackrabbit running on your Legends Ultimate arcade cabinet. And I gotta say, this is probably one of my favorite ports of all time. This is Steve from Nostalgia, and let's get started. All right, another week, another firmware release from At Games. Now, we're just going to quickly talk about this. There's not a whole lot going on this week. We've got a couple of features. The first one is that they've moved the daily quota feature into the parental control header. So if you want to adjust any daily quotas, you've got to go into the parental control options, and then you're going to see it there. The other features that we've got going on here are that we've got four new titles coming to the global leaderboard games, and those are Bad Dudes vs. Dragon Ninja, Pinbow, P47 The Phantom Fighter, and Tryout. So that's awesome. We've got four new titles to get everybody kind of competing against each other. I absolutely love that they are doing this. Now with all of those new features out of the way, let's go ahead and switch over to my computer so I can show you guys how to get Jazz Jack Rabbit up and running on your Legends Ultimate. Okay, so here we are on my computer. Now I do gotta say this is a port I am extremely excited for. Now this port was brought to us by Wild Coder, so big shout out to him. His link for his YouTube channel will be in the description. Please go on down, subscribe to his channel, and show him some love. Now, I do want to mention this add-on is going to include a pre-compiled OpenJazz SDL2 port from ModMy Classic. ModMy Classic is the group that did the development for the PlayStation Classic, for Project Lunar, for the Sega Genesis Mini, things like that. So he's essentially taken their port and adopted it to run on the Legends Ultimate Arcade cabinet. Now, OpenJazz is an open source port of Jazz Jackrabbit that runs natively on Windows and Linux. And the other thing that's going to be important to note is that this build is actually going to include the shareware version of the game. So you don't actually have to go out and find the original game files. You can actually get this up and running with the shareware version which is included and that's not a problem at all for us to provide it that being said if you want the full game you are going to need to either purchase the game or you're going to have to source it some other way i'm going to leave that up to you now i am going to show you guys how to exchange the existing shareware version for the full version if that's something you're able to do but if not, you're still going to get the shareware version, which I believe includes the first level with a bunch of stages, so it's still something that you guys can go ahead and load up. Now, in terms of Jazz Jackrabbit running on the ALU, it is actually really, really cool because I personally think Jazz Jackrabbit is a very well built for an arcade setup. If you guys remember when this game first came out, there was a gamepad, I think that was called the Gravis gamepad or something along those lines. I'll find a picture of it and I will stick it up on screen. And it was interesting because this controller specifically actually had a little thread in the middle of the D-pad that you could attach this little stick to. So you could essentially convert the controller into almost like a mini fight stick. So it is actually kind of interesting that that was the main supported controller for this game. And, uh, and it actually works quite well in terms of playing with that style of controller. So moving all that stuff aside, let's get this thing loaded. So the first thing that we're going to have to do is go on over to our Dropbox link. Again, all the links that were provided by Wildcoder will be in the description down below. But when we load up the page, you're going to see that we have access to an add-on, which is the UCE file. And then we have a folder called OpenJazz. Inside of this folder is going to be the shareware version of the game. It's completely good to go. You can download that and use that for this install process. But again, if you do have the original game, I'm going to show you how to replace the existing game files with the original game files. So you're gonna go ahead and grab those direct download right to your desktop. Once you do that, you'll be left with a zip file. When you extract that zip file, you'll have these two files here. The first thing that we're gonna do is just go ahead and throw our UCE file onto our USB drive. And I've got all of my ports in a ports folder. I'm gonna go ahead and just dump it into that folder there. Next, we're gonna go back to the root of our USB drive. And just to show you guys what's inside of this open jazz folder, if we double click on it, you're gonna have all of your game files right on in here. So that's good, we're ready to go with that. We're gonna go ahead onto the root of our USB drive, double click on our content folder, and if you don't have a content folder, you'll have to create one. Then we're gonna double click on ports, and then in here you're gonna see we've got the folders for all the ports that we've previously done. 
We're just gonna go ahead and grab our open jazz, dump it into this folder, and we're gonna let it transfer in. Now, other than that, we're actually finished with the Jazz Jackrabbit port. There's nothing else that needs to be done. You could technically take your USB drive, pop it into your arcade cabinet, and go ahead and launch the shareware version of Jazz Jackrabbit. But if you're like me and you have access to the original game files, you're gonna wanna go ahead and grab those and dump them in so you have access to the entire game. Now, I've got my game files right over here, so I'm just gonna shift them over to this side, and we're gonna go ahead and double click on this open jazz folder that we just loaded up onto our USB drive. And again, this is only pertinent if you have the full game files. If you do not, you can just stop where we're at right now and go ahead and plug this into your cabinet and start playing the shareware game. Now, everything inside of this folder can be deleted with the exception of one file. We need this one file. Without it, we can't actually launch the port and that's going to be called open jazz dot zero 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 so we just got to find it it's going to be right over here so again this file cannot be deleted we need to keep it what we're going to do is we're going to grab all the other files we're going to do control a to grab everything in the folder then we're going to keep holding the control button and we're going to click on the open jazz dot zero 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 and as you can see it deselects that we're going to go ahead and delete everything all 80 files that's totally fine you're gonna notice that everything except for the openjazz.000 file has been deleted. Then we can go ahead and grab everything from our full version of the game and dump that into our USB port into that folder. Now I'm gonna go ahead and let that transfer over and I'm gonna skip over this process. And that only took about 15 or 20 seconds, so it's not a long process, it's not a lot of game files. Now that we've transferred over the full version into our openjazz folder, we're done. There's nothing else that needs to be done. We can grab our USB drive, pop it into our cabinet and give it a go. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. Okay, so here we are on the arcade cabinet. I've got my USB drive plugged in and we're gonna navigate over to the BYOG section and we're going to select the add-on feature. Next, we're gonna scroll on down to our ports folder and when we click on that, you're gonna see the beautiful and lovely icon for Jazz Jackrabbit. And that's pretty much it. I'm gonna go ahead and jump into some gameplay footage and then we're gonna wrap up the video. And there you guys have it, Jazz Jackrabbit running on the Legends Ultimate Arcade Cabinet. Huge, huge shout out to Wildcoder for this. Very awesome to see this port make its way to the cabinet. It is a ton of fun. If this is not a game you guys have played, please pick this one up download it, run it. It is so much fun. It's such a good game. And the nice thing about this game, as you guys saw, is that it is the upscaled version. So we're running this in 720p and it looks absolutely fantastic. But that's pretty much all I've got for you guys. Please consider subscribing to the channel, give the video a thumbs up, and I will talk to you guys again real soon.